What's going on? Um, Detective Cornell wants a receipt from the flashlight I bought you, but the files are in the cabinet and it's locked. Isn't Scott Murphy in custody? I'm not at liberty to share the details of the case with you. And then she said the receipt could help eliminate you as a suspect. If the model of your flashlight is different than the one forensics indicates was the murder weapon, then you're off the hook. It was a very grown-up decision for me to, to take a series, and I avoided it for a long time just because of the fear of playing one character for potentially years. Um, but why this role is the one for me is because she's never comfortable for me to play. She's, it's always challenging. She's, she's Detective Cornell. It's so different than myself. And so um, that's what makes it exciting and strange and challenging. Are you aware that 75% of child killers inject themselves into the investigation? Ryan Phillippe, who, who plays Ben Crawford, is jogging in the woods and comes across a dead child who he knows it's his neighbor's son. Um, and he becomes the prime suspect um, because his story isn't totally straight of where he was the night before. And so we learn that. And also the neighbors, it also reflects what happens with neighbors when there's a magnifying glass put on your neighborhood, how people react, who's suspicious of who. Oh, uh, my character, I wanted him to take a DNA sample. He wouldn't. Okay, well, let's, why? <laughs> so it turns out, he had an affair with one of the neighborhood uh, neighbors, played by Natalie Martinez, who emotes and does such a beautiful job. We learn that his marriage is crumbling. He had a one night stand with the neighbor. The child is his. He didn't even know that. Dun, dun, dun. No, I have no clue what you're talking about. Please, every time I turn my back, you're helping that woman try to put me away. Have you lost your mind? She thinks I killed Tom. You understand? But you didn't. You're innocent. The more we cooperate, the sooner she's gonna see that. That's so naive. There are countless stories of innocent men being exonerated decades after being in prison, sometimes after she they were executed. She's a homicide detective. She's looking at every possible angle to solve Tom's murder. He was your son. I would think you would feel some responsibility to help her. 